Yeah, right? There's also one for mainstream political journalists. Um, and what I would recommend is this. So, just follow my conservative feed, right? You're going to see Eric Erickson on there from Red State. You're going to see Ed Morrissey on there from Hot Air. Start interacting with them. Now, do not stalk them. Do not contact them every day. Do not, do not be crazy and annoy them. Okay? But, if you have something interesting to add, tweet them. If they say something interesting, retweet them. Guess what? They're not going to like you tomorrow. But Twitter is like a relationship. It's like, it's like if, if you go to, you know, if you went to college, or you take a, college, a, a class at a community college, and you sit down the first day, there's someone sitting behind you, you might say hi, you're not your friend on the first day, but after a couple months, you sort of know them, and after a while, you slowly, organically develop a relationship with them. That's what Twitter is like. So within the course of a year of doing this, you will have a relationship with where Ed Morrissey knows sort of who you are. Eric Erickson knows sort of who you are. Shira uh, <coughs> Cutlets at Politico sort of knows who you are. She know, you know, you've retweeted her. Um, now, when you get a story, you build up credibility, you can tweet these folks, and now they will know who you are, and they will be more inclined to retweet it or to write about it. So, that's how it is. It doesn't happen overnight, it's not a silver bullet, but if you just have a blog, it's like if a tree falls in the woods, nobody knows about it, right? Just having a blog will get you nowhere. If you have a blog where you post your video, and you have a Twitter presence, you can drive people to the blog using Twitter. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, you know, just be a part of the community. Uh, if you have comments on your blog, you know, interact, respond to comments. That's sort of common sense. 